Hello, I am back. In the previous video, we looked at was what takes place inside the processor, and I would like to recap so that I can give you a brief overview of what you need to take from that video. What you need to take from that video is the work of the central control unit, which is just like a count. It counts and queue up whatever input devices give to the processor, and then uh, tells processor and then send the copy to the memory and tells processor where to get it from the memory. I mean, the, 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 the arithmetic control unit, where to get it from the memory. And then the next thing is arithmetical unit itself. You need to know that it has to coordinate with the central control unit all the time to make sure that there's no data, other data coming or uh, if there are queues, uh, then the speed has to be increased here to to release this. I mean, to relieve the space so that the processing continues. And then the the memory itself here, the memory like this one, you can see there are different addresses. The address for the data received is different from the address for data process, which means uh, that one has been flushed out, and this one is still there, and it will be flushed out and save somewhere in the garbage collection where it will be uh, deleted at some point just to create a space. Remember, everything which is happening here is happening at the level of bits of the machine code, uh, which is the binary instruction, uh, I mean the binary and hexadecimal instruction in terms of bits, 01010101, yeah? So, um, now, we are going to take a look at uh, the input system because the processor has already finished its work. Now, the data has come. The input system will now interpret that, okay, the processor now has changed one, two, three previously to seven, eight, uh, nine. Is it true that is matching what we have with the yellow code. If it is true, then let me now give it out to the user. Now the user will get it, um, and once the user get the output, um, everything will be sort will have been sorted out, and that, my friend, will mark the end of the processing. Then we have re we have received our result, which is expected, and then the process continues like that. My friend, this is how a uh, computer system work. This is how uh, algorithm runs inside the process, inside the processor. If there was a problem, um, we would not get to the output here. The system will terminate inside here in finite time. Even here now, it has been terminated at the point when the output has been given out in finite time because we have received the results already output which is the yellow code for the yellow color that we want to receive and that is what we wanted to receive there you know we have got our solution and uh, i would like to thank you for viewing uh, this is how to solve computer problems and uh, yeah i hope you've learned something how algorithm work and how processor work now we are get we have got our yellow uh, our yellow background that they wanted us to get. So thank you for viewing. This is just a demo of how algorithm works. And this marks, it marks the end of this module, which is about understanding the computational, um, uh, understanding computational uh, problem and algorithm. So thank you for viewing. I will see you. Um, in the next video, in the next course, if at all you join my course. And I, I believe this video will take you far. I managed to create over 100 videos just for this course because I really want people to get the model right. I want people to know where this thing is coming from and where, you know, we are heading at. So I am, I am happy that I have proved the concept. We have turned the light from red to yellow. So thank you for viewing. I hope I will see you next time. My name is once again, Samuel Ambrose Onen, 
a BSc and MSc holder of advanced computer science from one of the most prestigious universities in the world. 